You're talking about a real person that has a heart and a soul. And we need to get back to the heart and soul of our own humanity. Called Memoirs of a Sex Industry Survivor. I really felt that this story had to come out, the true story of a survivor of the sex industry. Not the glamorized pretty woman, Heidi Fleiss, Jenna Jameson. BS that's out there, but the real story, the real truth. Anne claims her novel tells the story of her life. It began in Denver, Colorado and took its first sad twist early on. When her father left the family, she says she was sexually abused by an older man, a sex addict with a taste for young girls. Burdened with poor self-esteem, Anne turned on herself. When I was about probably 11 or 12, I started taking um, pills and drinking a lot to cope with things. By 17, she'd become a prostitute. It was just, it was just, it was, it was not what I, you know, envisioned for myself. Somehow, Anne found the strength to walk away from the sex trade, graduate college, and find a job in the computer industry. But she was still haunted by her past and needed the support of others who shared her history. Where news comes first, this is NBC 24 News Today. This book is called Memoirs of a Sex Industry Survivor, and it explores the link between sexual abuse and prostitution and pornography. Can you tell us a bit about your story, which led you into the prostitution industry? Yes, um, I was a runaway, and I was sexually abused in my home. That's Thank why you I ran so much away. for joining us this morning. The conference does go on at UT throughout the a Ventura, California woman is attacking the world of prostitution. She's one of... Understand that when we, if you legalize prostitution, it's actually going to increase trafficking. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things people don't understand because of the glamour around this business. Hookers on campus. Sounds like a video you might see advertised That's on late That's one night perspective cable. one former call girl cannot accept. And I've been out of it a long time, and I still have nightmares, flashback. I still have difficulties in my relationships, this is my third marriage. It's a good one, but I still have issues, you know, related to being a prostituted woman. Inside the real life of a prostitute, we will talk to a former streetwalker who says that she was addicted to the that The game life or the life. life, I felt that in my own way I was taking control. And this is a sad mistake that many um, survivors make. And one of the reasons that I am doing this book and I'm so glad to be here is that I want people to know that right now the commercial sexual exploitation of our children is becoming a national epidemic. Coming up, let's do it. I want you to get excited about your life. What are you thinking? Now, Anne Bissell is the author of Memoirs of a Sex Industry Survivor and founder of Sex Industry Survivors Anonymous. She's very much against legal prostitution. And so I welcome you to the show. And then you are she's Dennis Hoff. That she wants to achieve, and she's never going to do it uh, at, at a normal $30,000, $40,000 a year job. Okay, and you think that it's not, a, it's not a bargain? I think whether or not it's legal, it's still paid rape. And if, if you know, you can legalize having to have sex with a 300-pound man with warts all over as you know what, not to be too graphic. But it's, you know, it's still something that for me, I was in it for five years and got out, thank God. And now I help sex industry survivors all over the United States. They call me, Dr. Phil, they call me and they're in pain. They're in pain. They don't want to be in it, whether it's legal or not. They have post-traumatic stress disorder. They have nightmares. They have flashbacks. I still have these things. So how much money is, is, is your self-esteem worth? You're talking about a real person that has a heart and a soul. And we need to get back to the heart and soul of our own humanity.